Hey guys, today we're quickly going to walk through the steps on how to change the battery in a backup battery system, UPS or uninterruptible power supply. We're also going to look at which battery to select. As you may recall, I use a couple of UPS units to back up my security camera system, including a PC, two NVRs, a PoE switch, and a Starlink router and dish. The normal lead acid battery in a UPS lasts about five years. Lithium ion will get you about eight to 10. It's been well over five years now for this UPS and when I plug it in, it just screams at me. And I'm also seeing this overload error here on the screen. When I connect it to its PC software over USB, I don't get any error, but the UPS drops off and the computer cannot see it. The model that I have here is CyberPower's 850 AVR. The battery compartment is located right here at the bottom. And as you can see here on the 150 model, there is a small screw to remove and then the front will just slide right off. So let's jump into a time lapse and get this done. Now, once I get that door off, the battery will slide about halfway out until I get those two wires removed. Just give them a little wiggle and they'll pop right off. And here's a close up of the original battery. So when it comes to ordering a replacement, I used Amazon. I had it the next day and it was within $30 US. So you don't need to buy CyberPowers or APCs branded batteries. The Mighty Max, Power Star, Energy King, all work perfectly fine. Just make sure that the specifications are the same or very close to the same. That includes the battery dimensions, like what you see here. The voltage would definitely be 12 and between seven to 10 amp hours. Ensure that the new battery is a high rate charge and discharge cell. And lastly, I don't recommend switching battery types unless you have experience in this area. So if your current battery is lead acid, then don't switch it to lithium. Battery links are in the description below, so make sure to check those out. Okay, so we're going to fast forward through this again. Let's get that new battery in place, connect the wires and put the cover back on. Now when I plug the unit back in, it says normal and I see 100% capacity and 85 minutes of runtime. If I jump back into the PC app and I run the self test, everything looks great. I have almost 100 minutes of runtime here. All right, guys, I hope that you found this information helpful. If so, leave me a thumbs up and show your support by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future home tech DIY projects you can do yourself. Thanks for watching.